All right, if we're going to make this hot dog a mod, we have to look at the nodes and vertices. If we look at the hot dog's vertices, you can see they're around the outside. There's some in the middle, and there's some on the other end. Now, the way mods physics work is the vertices are what actually make contact with um, the beams or other nodes. The beams are basically just the lines that connect uh, in between vertices. And the triangles, which is what makes the mesh itself, uh, don't actually make contact. Uh, so if we look at the bun at its vertices, or its, uh, you know, they're just on the end here. So in the middle, the vertices of the hot dog wouldn't make contact with the bun and probably sag into it, into the mesh. So looking at them both, you can see there's nothing in the bun for the, that part of the hot dog to make contact with. So it would not work so well in the middle, but on the ends, there'd be enough contact. We just have to get the hot dog out of the bun so it's not in the bun. So it's kind of you know, floating in a way that it's not making contact. I'm going to put it right here. Now, there's two ways to do the J-beam. You can make your own primitive object by, say, making a, add a mesh, simple geometry like a mesh uh, cylinder and reducing the vertice count to where you got the bare minimum, just the bare minimum what you need to contain that hot dog, which in this case would be something like, uh, let's see, something like this maybe which that's in the bun too but that's the point you can do this like this but then the vertices that will be taken into account are the ones for this object this will be the objects vertices that'll be used as the J beam and it'll basically just encase the hot dog like it's inside of an ice cube that's one way to do it and of course you would export that primitive cylinder and then in the file, you would say, okay, meat, you would associate with the vertices from the exported cylinder. But in this case, I want to just use the actual hot dog itself uh, as the container that also holds the mesh. So what I have to do is First of all, I need to pick both of these objects and set the origin to the 3D cursor. That way the game knows where 0, 0, 0 is in relation to where the object is. Uh, next, I need to make sure that it is not in the ground, which it's not. It's just above the ground, which is the green line or the red line if you're looking from a side view or a front view. So that's good. Uh, now I have to... Um, apply all transforms and save my file because Blender crashes often. So I'll just call it hot dog. Alright, let's go to the desktop. Let's take a mod that's already made. You can use my mod to do this. I'll just take the mod from the trampoline. I'll move it to the desktop, or copy it rather. Now I'm going to rename it. I'm going to rename the mods folder to hot dog. Then inside that folder, I can go ahead and move it back now. Because this is working in the unpacked folder, which in your, where being in the, your user folder is, you'll have levels of mods, mods, unpacked, repo, we're working in the unpack folder. So 
So the hot dog folder, we got to go into the mod info first, change the info from the trampoline to just hot dog. Uh, you put your name there, the authors, save. Let me close all these other files out of here. Then we'll back out of there and go into the vehicles, and then we'll change that folder to hot dog. Open that folder, and we'll get rid of the stuff that's in here from the last thing that was made so that all we have is just a shell of a J-beam and a materials file. We don't even need that. So we got the materials file and a blank. Well, it's not blank, but we're going to make it blank. All right, so I'll go ahead and do the textures uh, once I export the uh, mesh, the blender mesh. I'll do that at that time. So for now, let's go back to blender. Um, so we just got a bun and meat. We're going to go to file export DAE and we're going to go into that hot dog folder here vehicles hot dog I'm going to go ahead and add a bookmark here so I can get to it quicker so you'll be returning here export Collider. copy textures over if they're not already over there which in this case they're not so it's exported the, actually I didn't need that cylinder, that was the damn example I was just doing, uh, re-export Collider. Alright, now, the um, texture is called Hot Dog, and the actual material is this PNG file, so we'll go into the materials, and we'll change the texture from pole, which was from the other mod, to hot dog. We'll put that in the other two slots. Copy. Paste. Paste. And uh, move the color map. Now this is the texture here for the hot dog. I uh, just rename, copy, and paste it makes it easier. So now we got our color map of our hot dog. Now we don't need any other textures. This is just one for this hot dog. They're both on the same image. The bun and the meats together, as you can see here. There's actually a little mustard squiggle in a paper plate, but I took them out. So now we can save this, because this is just uh, for our texture. That way the mod has a texture when it loads. Now we can uh, load in this J-beam into the Notepad++, which is the one from the old mod. But what we'll do is we'll remove the stuff that made it the old mod, which if you look here in Blender, we got bun and meat. These are the two models that you have to tell the flex bodies to be. Because uh, that's what it's asking for. It's asking for the models from the uh, blender. So we've got bun and meat. And then you'll have to put a group. So we'll just call it A and B. We'll keep it simple. So we've got the bun and the meat, which will be group A and B. So we'll get rid of all these old nodes. that many right. all right so here we have group A and we need to have a group B now this is where we'll take our node information our information we export 
from Blender will take that information and plug it into here in just a minute. Now let's go ahead and get rid of all these beams in this old mod. And we'll get rid of all the collision triangles. So what we're left with is basically a spot we need to put in the nose, beams, and triangles. Yeah, the rest of this stuff, we can just leave it like it is. Uh, we'll get rid of these reference nodes. We'll do that later. And at the top, this is where we'll name our mod, mod name, hot dog. Your name goes there. And save file. Now back to Blender. I'm going to save my file again before I do this next step. Now I'm going to go into the Pick the hot dog, meat, go to edit mode, hit A to select all, and now I'm going to have the plug-in connect all these nodes or vertices to one another by going to mesh, J-beam, nodes connector. We made 1,176 connectors. Basically, every vertice connects to every vertice. That basically is the reinforcement for the meat there. Now I'll go to face, triangulate faces, and back to object mode. Save the file. I'll do the same thing with the bun. Then I'll pick the bun, go to edit mode, and A to select all, mesh, J-beam, nodes, connector. And that just made a ton of connections there, 4,000 something. Face, triangulate faces, object mode, and then I'll unselect everything, and then I'll save it again because it crashes often. Alright, now these two steps are done, now I just have to, for these two J-beams, I have to give them their own prefix. Uh, I'm just going to call uh, the meat B and the bun A. Now I'll pick the bun and the hot dog file, export J-beam, and it'll export two objects, two J-beams. I'll go into my export folder and you'll see bun and meat J-beam files. Go back in notepad plus plus and I'll drag them in here and drop them in there. Now you see the bun's got A and the meat's got B. Those are those two letters that we just put that separates them so that they can have their own unique numbers. I'll drag this over here and say move to other view. And now the process of copying the beams, nodes, and triangles. So we start with bun, we get all the nodes, which you can see start under nodes. It looks for ID, position X, Y, and Z. So you got a node and you got its X, Y, and Z coordinate. And these are all those vertices, basically. We'll just drag them and drop them right here in group A. We'll do the same thing with the bun, or the meat, with the Bs, and drop them in group B. That's how your mesh, your mod, knows what's what. Now the beams, if it didn't have beams, think of like a human without bones, how the skin would just fall to the ground right, without the bones to support anything. That's basically what the beams are for the mod. That was what all those little thousands of beams that were connected just a minute ago uh, were, basically all beams. So 
So we'll pick them all. There's a lot. So I'll just left click, go to the bottom, hold shift and pick them all that way. Drag them and drop them right there. Then underneath them all, put a space so I can put the ones from the other one. Hold shift. And click. Just select all. Drag and drop. And lastly, the triangles. So. Now we gotta put a in we gotta put another space here to put the other ones. And drop. So now this is basically finished. I'll just leave the uh, node weight and the friction, all this stuff, I'll leave the same. Save the file. Now we'll load the JBeam editor. We'll drag this shell that we just saved into here. And what we'll see is a J-Beam representation of our hot dog and bun. Now we'll turn on node names and you'll see the nodes appear. And we need to pick the reference nodes. But a good way to think of this is whichever node is closest to where the green and red and blue line come together is a good starting point for your reference node. In this case, it looks like the closest thing to that point would be probably BL33 or BL17. So right up here with reference nodes is, I know it's hard to see, but in between these two parentheses, I put BL33. All right, what is behind BL33? Well, if you're looking at it this way or that way, depending on whichever way you want to look at it, you could just, whichever one you want to use, I'll say AL48 is behind there, or back, back rather. AL48. All right, now what is above BL17? What is above the reference node? Uh, looks like BL18 is above it. So that'll go in the up. And you don't have to put these in for this to actually work. This isn't something that's required. But your camera will act crazy and it won't be where you want it to be when the thing spawns. If it's not filled out. Alright, what's to the left? Uh, well, we'll just say BL1 is to the left. As it is actually. Or maybe that's the right. Whichever way, if you get it backwards, it just means the camera will be on the other side. So BL1 will be the reference node. And I keep forgetting. Got to have your mouse over here when you type. That's where it won't type. All right, let's have some fun. Now let's put a thruster on this hot dog. And the way a thruster works is the, the beam that connects two nodes is uh, where the front of the engine is and where the fire comes out, basically, which you don't see the fire unless you add that Jado flame to it, which I ain't going to do here. So we're going to say BL34 and BL32 will be our thruster. So what I'll do is come down here to uh, thrusters. All right, I'll just borrow this here because I'm going to rename it to the two nodes I just mentioned. Uh, it'll be BL34. and BL32. And let's try to make it spin the other way, like around that, like that way around. So I'll just pick two of these, BL34 and BL46, to be this other type of rotation. Paste that here, BL34. 
BL46. And save. Now, this is controlled with the Luau function, the Lou stuff, which you just copy this folder and paste it, it'll work. I'm not going to get into all that stuff because I don't quite understand it myself. Uh, it just it's just easier to just say take one from another mod and stick the folder in there and it'll work. Uh, let's see, let me find one that we're going to use. Something that's got a thruster on it already. Go in my older mods, find one. All right, there it is. Copy, paste. So this is the Lou function for thrusters. It's T and G. Basically, this is what tells the mod that pressing T and G activates those thrusters. Hot dog. Uh, okay, let's load it and see what happens. So, we don't have a preview picture, but I guess what I could do is just to show you how to quickly, you can just make a preview picture basically. Um, I'll just hit print screen. And I'll go into my photo editor. Paste. And then I'll do a cropped 2 to 1 ratio. It's a little preview box like that. And then I have to draw another little box and say image cropped selection. All right, then scale the image to 400 by 200. And that is your preview. File, export as, and in that folder, the hot dog folder, in the vehicles, hot dog. In here, you'll put default.jpg. And that is your preview item, your preview picture for your item. If you were submitting this mod to the repository, you would make another one. But you would scale it one to one like this, and uh, you'd scale this one to, uh, I believe it's 96, no, it's 92 or 96. I forgot. To be on the safe side, you can just scale it to 92 by 92. That is your icon that you also submit. So I'll just put icon matter what you name this so but now that's also which I sent that to the Lua folder the Lua 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 folder and put it in there all right we're ready to load our mod launch game I'll use grid map it loads the fastest grid map small grid I mean you know what I meant Hit escape, vehicles, and we'll locate our hot dog. And there it is. I got to set one of the materials. I got the material set wrong. I didn't realize it was reflect reflecting. <laughs> so F11, let's fix this real quick. We'll pick the vehicle. 
to go to the material editor uh, and turn this reflection off. Somehow this has got all screwed up. Okay, we're fixed now. I didn't pay attention when I used that material. Anyway, it's fixed now. We'll save it. Now we got our hot dog. Now remember, when you save a material like this, it just made a new location where that material got saved in your user folder in vehicles. In the mod, you'll see if another folder with your hot dog that has the new main.materials file. You just modify it. Copy it. Go back to your hot dog folder and paste it and overwrite the old one. Replace it with the destination one. Open it. And then take out this stuff here that it just added. If it added any location to any thing whatsoever, take it out so all that's in any of the maps, whether it be normal maps or ambient occlusion, specular, or any others, all you need is just the texture name and it's uh, dot whatever, DDS or JPEG or PNG, whatever. They're depreciating out of the game at some point dependencies of file locations. So get in the habit of doing it this way. Save it and that's the updated. If you don't do this you'll submit something and it'll have the changes it will not have the changes that you made. Why it does this in this way I don't know. Why doesn't it just overwrite the one in this folder? I don't know. It just does it this way for whatever reason. So just know you gotta go do that. But anyway, back to um, our hot dog. Let's test out this thruster. So we'll hit G or T, and nothing happened. Our hot dog is not catapulting anywhere or flying anywhere. <laughs> it was supposed to do. I don't know why. Oh, I don't lie now. I made a mistake. If you notice, this hot dog does not allow you to move it. I'm picking a node and I'm moving and it's not doing nothing. It's because from the old mod I had something set in the nodes here. You see this fixed? It says true. No, you don't want that unless you want it to be fixed in place. So this should be false. Resave, reload. It may crash when you reload. It happens all the time. When you, uh, and it didn't this time, luckily. Let's reload our hot dog. And see now our, our wiener. can uh, go go be with the stars, basically. Well, I'm hitting T, but it's not going anywhere. Now, hitting G, it did spin it the other way. But T did not do anything. Let me reset it. Maybe hung. That wiener ain't going anywhere. One of our thrusters is not thrusting. It is that way, though. That was the one that was kind of counterclockwise. And you can see by, if I pause it, you can see where the vertices were for that model. Remember, they're like in the middle where I said they wouldn't make contact with the bun. So you can see basically where the thing bends at. If you wanted this to bend more realistically, you know, you'd have to have more vertices because, you know, something that is flat cannot necessarily bend unless there's stuff in between it. I, I think it's kind of a cool little mod, you know, hot dog in a bun. It'd be cooler if the thing launched like it was supposed to. Let's see what happened. Let's see what went wrong. So... 
Let's go back to our thruster and check. Uh, let's see. Let me look back at this again. Let's let's pick two different ones. Let's pick BL32 and BR36. BR BR I'm just picking two on opposite ends of the hot dog. BR 36 and looks like BL 28. I'm also reducing the amount of thrust. That's a lot of thrust there. Let me bring that down significantly. File save. Oh, I gotta pick that again. Fault. File save, reload. There's some things that'll update dynamically and some things that will not that you have to reload. I uh, just reload every time because I never know. All right. That's still too much thrust. Let's lower that some more. Deforming the hot dog. Let's try. Well, I don't know. Let's try 5,000. I'll save, reload. There we go. Now we got a successful launching hot dog. Yeah, if that thing hits a car, it'd do some damage. Spin it the other way. It's rotating that way around and it's going. Whoever knew. It's connected it to the car. P or G again to stop the rotation. Let's just run into it with the vehicle. And I think that'll be it for this video. I'll put the uh, I'll I'll link the mod of the hot dog in the link if anybody wants it. Hot dog's like, oh, you want to race, huh? Oh, you want to race? I'll race you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you make any questions, let me know. But I think this is it for this video.